Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next edition of Flashback Friday. This week out, we will be playing World Series Baseball. On the Game Gear, my name is Patrick Icky Jr. I am the author of the Minds Behind the Games book series and, of course, your editor-in-chief of ReviewFix.com. So, um, uh, yeah, man. Ugh. Ugh. The Mets. The Mets in, like, 93... Vince Coleman, Tony Fernandez, Eddie Murray, Bobby Bonilla, Howie Johnson, Jeff Kent, Ryan Thompson, Todd Hundley, Doug Gooden, and they were awful. And they couldn't get it done. I don't know. Man, team is loaded. But World Series Baseball was awesome. Um, I will say, damn, my son is, uh, My son's screaming. He's he's that excited. I'm that excited too. So this is the thing. I love World Series Baseball on the Genesis. I love it. I love it. I love it. However, um, it could be a bit disorienting to some people because of the up close visuals and that tight batter's box and stuff like that. On the Game Gear, um, on the Game Gear, it just felt a little different um it's got look at dave hollands it's got like his batting stance like this is not this is a different this is a more traditional offering because like world series baseball really like kind of changed the game this is more of a straightforward like baseball game I, it does a lot of good things um it's not as groundbreaking but in terms of like being an accessible fun baseball game um yeah this gets it done this may be um the best baseball game on the game gear and there's a few very good baseball games on the game gear you wouldn't think but there are mlbpa um there's a whole bunch of good baseball games i just love everything about this one and again, I'm playing it with like, with my son's nuts. Um, I'm playing it with like, you know, on an emulator where everything's like quadrupled in size. And it still looks damn good. Like, this is a game that like, if this, this is a Game Gear game. This could have totally been done on the NES. Like, NES style graphics. Um, man. This could have changed the game, Milt Thompson. Milt Thompson was damn good in his day. I love the way the ball moves in this game. Like, this is a top-notch Game Gear game. That would have been awesome. There's, like, slight delays, like, after the player catches the ball, so it's, like, turning double plays and stuff can be a little bit difficult, but, um... George Bell... This, this was a damn good baseball game. So if you're looking for something um, interesting to flash back to, yeah, pick this up. You'll dig it. 